Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gamhalo Veronica. If you're here for the very first time, hello, hi, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hello, it's me again. So in today's video, I showed you guys how I do this makeup look. I showed you how I do my hair and I showed you my outfit. I am going to my nephew's birthday party anti duties <laughs> so I wanted to um, do a video for you guys like a three-in-one um, you know today is the perfect day because I was gonna do everything either way so thank you so much for watching I appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye so I will be using this gel to lay down my natural hair and that is all i'm using i am also using a comb to lay down my edges so this is my hair i stretched it out in my previous video so the only thing i'm gonna do is lay my edges and put a bit of this so that i can lay down my hair so i am not going to use a lot of product and i'm gonna use this brush to brush my hair so, just a bit. I don't know how much I'm going to take. I'm going to use as much as, as little as I possibly can, but lay down my hair as much as possible. So, just going to put this all over my hair. I'm going to avoid the ends, by the way, so that my hair doesn't curl up there. I might actually not need to brush it. I'm gonna take my hair tie. I didn't even brush it, but I'm looking at the mirror by the way. So not too tight that you can't breathe, okay? But tight enough. Also, you want to brush your hair while it's still wet because if you brush it when it's dried, it's not gonna hold, it's just gonna ruin the whole thing for you. It's right over here. <laughs> so I'm gonna tie my hair bend three times. And then, that's my little ponder. I'm gonna stretch my hair like downwards so that way I feel like it's a little bit too tight I can release it so this is how I do it push it down like this then dab into the styling gel and then I'm going to lay down my edges so I'm going to use a mirror so that I can see what I'm doing. A smaller mirror. I can use a big one. Just keep on dabbing and lay your edges as you go. And now I'm going to take this head scarf and wrap it around so that I can lay my edges properly and flitz in my hair. I'm 
I'm gonna use this pencil. It's just an old pencil I got from a good day. And then I'm gonna draw my eyebrows. I'm using the Rimmel 24 hour um, lasting finish medium to build the whole coverage because it's definitely not full coverage so this is what I'm using normally I would use the Wet n Wild foundation or the Maybelline Fit Me foundation but I think I'm gonna fall in love with this one <laughs> so let's do this and speed it up For concealer today, I am using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Warm Honey. So this is what we're going to use. I'm going to mix this concealer with the Revolution Super Size Concealer and Define Full Coverage Concealer. Then I'm just gonna put it on top because this one is a little bit warmer than this one. I'm just gonna put the put some there. Okay. So while we wait for the concealer to dry a bit. I'm going to use um, the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. It's in the color cocoa. I'm going to use it as my my contour because it is my contour shade. I'm gonna use this one. Then just like put it on my forehead. I'm going to take my beauty blender and just blend that out. Then I'm going to take the other side of the blender. The best thing about the blender is that it has many, many sides. So you can use all of the sides for different purposes. I'm going to use another side of the blender to blend my concealer. So we're going to start with this one. For my nose contour, I'm going to use that same brush that I used to put on my contour. And I'm going to contour my nose with it. I'm not putting anything on it, just that using that brush. Then I'm going to use my beauty blender to just blend that out, the harsh lines. I'm going to take my foundation brush and just blend my whole face with it. Take the beauty blender, blend under my eyes, and then take a brush and dab it on, dab the powder under my eyes. At a time so that I don't have to deal with creasing because my eyes do crease a lot um, something I have noticed so whenever I put concealer under my eyes and I have to 
set it <laughs> i make sure that i blend one eye at a time and set one eye at a time to avoid creasing so that is that Okay, now that that is set, I am going to use this powder brush to like wipe everything, any excess. Okay, now I'm going to contour my face. For contour, I use Essence mattifying compact powder so that is what i'm gonna use today i use it in the shade number 16. also i love harsh contours guys like <laughs> i like looking like a doll i feel like a harsh contour does it for me like i don't, I don't want it if it's not harsh and i know i do harsh contour so that like if someone were to say your contour is harsh and like how harsh is it is it harsh enough or is it just right <laughs> you know so i'm gonna put this over here i like going a bit over my eyebrows like here I just yeah then make sure you go to that hairline i don't want to see any lines so i'm gonna do this again once i took off i take off the head scarf because sometimes there is a line there you know, sometimes it's inevitable so yeah to set the rest of my face i am using my um essence powder it is in my it's in the color toffee so i use it to like blend my whole face so I'm just gonna and this is what's gonna diffuse that harsh contour although i love the harsh contour i don't want to look like no now for my eyes i'm going to use the contour shape that i used just to darken my lid some blush and I love blush so I'm gonna use a lot of blush just here line mascara <laughs> 